Throughout the centuries, there have been many brutal execution methods which have been very feared. For example, in Britain, hanging, drawing and quartering was used against those people who were deemed guilty of treason, and Henry VIII would utilise the brutality of this death sentence to deal with some of his most serious enemies. The gunpowder plotters would be subjected to this, but there was one execution method which had been around for centuries, and it was incredibly feared. The oubliette was known for its brutality, and it was a hole in the ground in which someone would be simply left to rot, and left to die, and left to succumb to their fate. There was one oubliette in Warwick Castle that was so feared that during the 100 Years' War, the French soldiers fighting at various battles would learn of it, and they would rather die on the battlefield than be a prisoner and be sent to the oubliette. But how did the oubliette become one of the most feared execution methods of the medieval period? Join us today as we look at this, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The oubliette is named this, as it derives from the French verb oublier, which simply means to forget. The idea of forgetting completely encapsulates the oubliette as an execution and torture method, and it was in its simplest form a hole in the ground or a dungeon, in which prisoners would never escape from, and they would never leave. They would be forgotten about, and would be left to rot and starve, often with the remains of a person who went before them inside. Oubliettes had little or no light at all, and they were also, very often, far underground, making them cold, damp and smelly, and in some, there were also sewers that would flow into them, meaning that prisoners had to be sitting in human waste, and deal with rats and other vermin. The conditions were so cramped that the prisoners could not move, and they would be forced to sit in the dungeon, or crouch, they would then have to contemplate their imminent demise and death, it was psychological torture, and sometimes the owners of castles or houses would starve the victim, or they would give them some food and drink to keep them alive longer, meaning they would be kept alive for their ordeal to get worse. The sides being so narrow, and the height being so little, also led to many prisoners who were held in oubliettes having to spend all day crouched over, as there was no space to sit, which would cause a huge amount of discomfort and pain. Slowly the victim would lose their sanity and mind. There were other style oubliettes which were known as bottle dungeons, which were shaped like a bottle. So the inmate would be thrown through a hatch in the ceiling, or lowered into the pit below. And due to the design of the dungeon and the ceiling, they would not be able to escape and could not get out. They were just left in there often with the remains of the deceased rotting corpse who had been in there before them. This was a terror tactic, and owners of castles would do this to show the prisoner what was coming to them next. There has been examples of oubliettes found, where the remains of prisoners were still there. For example, in Lep Castle in Ireland, there was an oubliette that had spikes coming up from the floor, meaning that when a prisoner was thrown in, they were impaled by what was below. In 1922, workmen at Lep Castle, when they came across the oubliette in a corner of the bloody chapel, were shocked to find the remains of many humans that had been left centuries before. In fact, there were so many bones that it took three carts to remove them all from the castle, then bury these remains elsewhere. It was a horrific death, especially after the impalement on the spikes below. Oubliettes were used mostly as a terror tactic, and there were many examples of them found all over Europe. It's believed that the Bastille in Paris had an oubliette, and many were built during the High and Late Middle Ages by feudal lords, who wanted to strike fear into the hearts of their local enemies. They would capture rebels and regional rivals, and they would then put them in the oubliette to kill them, and to terrorise, and with this word would quickly spread not to mess with someone. The oubliette at Warwick Castle was built with this in mind, and with this punishment in mind, as it was found in the corner of a tower hidden away, in the underground prison, which is the very basement of this large tower. This oubliette in particular is so narrow, that a prisoner would be locked in a lying prone position, they would not be able to stand up, which was complete torture. These dungeons may have been brought to England by the Normans following their conquest, and may have been used to keep the population down, as they did encounter a significant amount of rebellion and revolt. But they were used sparingly it's believed, and it would be the most serious of prisoners who were sent to the oubliette. There is an example of an oubliette found, the most intimidating English fortress, the Tower of London. But this was built in the centuries after, and it was known as Little Ease. 
The tower would of course be known for its torture and execution, with two of Henry VIII's wives losing their heads inside the walls of the fortification. But the oubliette was built into the side of a wall, and it's believed it was pretty much like a cupboard, which could be opened and a prisoner thrown inside of, then they were locked in place in one position. It's believed that Guy Fawkes, a gunpowder plotter, was subjected to the torture of Little Ease, and that this, coupled with his racking, would have been what led him to elicit his confession to the King's men. The Nazis, even during the Second World War, would take inspiration from the Oubliette, and they would bring in standing cells to the concentration camps, where inmates were held for long periods of time, locked in one position, in a very cramped structure. Because of this, the Oubliette, which was a dungeon in which prisoners were simply left and forgotten, became one of the most brutal and feared execution methods used throughout history. It was a hole in the ground with a barbaric purpose, to erase someone from history, by starving them and letting them succumb to the conditions of their imprisonment. When seeing an oubliette, you can't help but think of the horror that occurred inside of them, and the fear that must have been eating up prisoners' minds, knowing that very quickly they would be dying, that the vermin inside would be there to pick at their remains. It was a harrowing execution method, and is certainly one of history's most feared. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.